Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Gearhart, and if you're new, thanks for joining me. And if you are not new, thanks for coming back and watching. Today, we are gonna be putting two popular hair dryers to the test. It's the John Frieda Round Brush Hair Dryer All-in-One and the Revlon One Step Styling Hair Dryer that is super popular. I did a review on that before, and I'll have that linked below in case you wanna see that. So I'm gonna put these two to the test, compare, contrast, and see which one we like better. So if that's of interest to you, stay tuned, and let's do this. I am here in the bathroom and I'm going to be reviewing the John Frieda round brush hair dryer and comparing it with my beloved Revlon One Step. Now the difference immediately is the weight of this. This is much heavier and bulkier than this. This is very light, which is actually kind of nice, but the difference is, is the power of the motor, I believe, because this thing will blow your face off and the heat is really intense and I actually only use it on the, um, the low setting because the high one is blowing my hair all over the place and making it frizzy, so I have to use it on the low setting. This one, the high setting, is kind of like this low setting, and it doesn't really get higher than that. So if you're looking for something that has some really intense heat and um, blow drying ability, this is better for that. But you'll notice this is oblong shaped, and this one is round. So if you're wanting a straighter paddle brush type finish with your hair dryer, where you maybe have a little bit of bend at the base of your hair or at the ends of your hair, this is your better bet. But if you wanna curl your hair with like a round brush type thing, this is a better bet for that. And I've used these both multiple times. I'm gonna show you this one and I will have linked in the description box and as well in the eye right here, my review on this. And uh, I really do like it, um, but you can't really curl your hair with it, or at least I can't. So the only thing that I have in my hair, it's damp right now, but not like super wet, just damp, because with this, um, you really kind of have to get your hair sort of halfway dry before you use it, because it just, it'll take forever. So I've got some BioSilk oil in here, in my hair, and I have the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream, the anti-frizz one, because Texas, summer, which is broom hair, you know the deal. Okay, so we are going to use this and I'll show you what it ends up looking like. Um, this one is cheaper. They have a one and a half inch, which is this one, and then they have a one inch, which is smaller. This is $39 on Amazon. I'll have that linked in the, in the description box below. The one inch one was 33 when I looked at it, and then this is like 58. So more expensive for the Revlon, more powerful for the Revlon round brush for this one. So they serve two different purposes here. All right, so I'm just gonna clip up my hair. So like that's high, <laughs> which I mean, it gets hot, it definitely gets hot. So it's not really a heat issue, it's the power of the power of the motor, which with this I actually like because my hair is so frizzy that when you use a hair dryer and it, it's blowing your hair all over the place, it can just kind of make that worse. And so the fact that this doesn't blow that much but still gets hot, I actually kind of like. It does have a low setting, but why? <laughs> and it has a cool setting as well. But you can see it's not blowing my hair all over the place, it's just holding it in here and getting hot. So it's good for people that have frizzy prone hair. All right, so you can see I'm curling it and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it all up and then I'll come back and show you what the final product looks like. Okay, I'm back and I just want you to see the kind of volume and stuff you can get out of this thing. It's Pretty nice actually. I've got some really good lift up here. Looks really nice all the way around. Really, really like it. So my final thoughts are if you want a round brush effect, you need to get the John Frieda one because it will give you that round brush effect. This one is the one and a half. So if you want a tighter curl, get the one inch. 
And if you want it to be blown out straight and smooth, then I think the Revlon one is your best bet. So I'll have both of those linked below if you wanna check any of those out, as well as my review on the Revlon one where you can see where my hair is. My hair doesn't actually look great straight because it's just so frizzy at the ends and all of that, but it does make it pretty darn smooth. Um, I did blast this with a little bit of anti-frizz hairspray to just try and combat some of this weather we're having. But for the most part, if, you, if you're not in humidity and all of that and your hair stays pretty well, you might not need the hairspray, but I do. Anyway, those are my reviews. I like both of them. I'm keeping both of them for different styles, but I think I'm actually leaning towards the John Frieda one for my hair type because it's frizzy and it doesn't blow your hair all over the place. So, and I can curl it. So I kind of like that one. It's also lightweight. So if you have any kind of arthritis or issues with hands and stuff, you know, holding it up there and stuff, the John Frieda one is definitely a whole lot lighter in weight. Okay, so I hope that was informative. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of every video I post. I do post every Tuesday and Thursday and it's always something new that products we use on a regular basis or recipes or parenting tips, family stuff, all that kind of stuff. So hit the subscribe button and the bell. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.